Welcome to Currency 365, another great week in Iraq. Before I get to Iraqi uh, breaking news, episode 6, uh, I want to talk about gold. I uh, got a headline here from CNBC that says, Trader bets millions on quick gold rally. Now, I like gold. Gold is my number two uh, um, precious metal to own after silver. So, this is a nice news to see that people are betting up millions on gold because gold's going to make you a lot of money in the next three to five years. Okay, uh, now let's get to Iraqi news. Okay, uh, first let's start off with the CBI update. All right, CBI update to banks approve the exercise of all banking and money transfers. Companies approved all and mediate. The sales and purchase of foreign currencies approved all companies, members of the board of directors, and managing. Okay, so this is saying that Iraq is going to approve basically brokers and uh, dealers and people who handle and transfer, okay, the, their, their currencies, okay, and foreign currencies and the purchase of foreign currencies, okay, they're going to approve all the companies that deal in the, in the dinar, uh, so they want to work with everybody, okay, they're opening themselves up to the world uh, to be worked on, and we also know one of the major news to, uh, this week was that Iraq was, is about to flood the oil market, okay, uh, the, the, so the oil market is going to actually drop, the oil prices are going to drop because Iraq is going to flood the oil market, How? why is this positive for Iraq, it's because this now gets other countries to do contracts with them. It now gets Iraq into the global market, okay? If they flood the oil, then people are going to have no choice but to do business with Iraq, okay? And it gets Iraq trading their currency, trading, doing trades and contracts. So that's the good news, okay? All right, let's go on to the next news. All right, Qatar uh, to reopen embassy in Baghdad. So, as we see, a lot of countries are opening uh, uh, embassies in Baghdad. We know that Saudi was a big one that was announced last year. So, this is good news. Even though, you know, there's all this stuff on the mainstream media, people, countries are still wanting to do business with Iraq. Okay. One of the uh, headlines that came out that is not Iraq was Greece economic nightmare is worse than the U.S. Great Depression. Okay, so this we got to watch out for Greece because I think it's June fifth. They default on everything. So, and I don't think the IMF is going to be giving them any more money. I think they're in the thirty day grace period. If I'm wrong, please comment below and let me know their grace period so I can do more research on it. Also, um, the IMF tells uh, Chinese, uh, the, the China, that they are welcome into the SDR basket, okay? The, the, the special drawing rights basket. They are welcoming the Chinese Wan Renbi. And that is major news. That is major, major news. China becoming the new reserve currency. That's what they want to be, okay? This is part of the global reset we've been talking about, okay? That at the end, we're going to see a world, a new world reserve currency, and it won't be the U.S. dollar. It would either be the Chinese yuan, RMB, or it will be the SD, or they'll just use the SDRs. Okay, back to Iraq news, okay? Something positive, uh, yesterday in Ramadi, uh, 800 volunteers from the local tribe enrolled to fight against ISIS alongside the Iraqi uh, forces. So this was very good news for uh, Iraq, and as we see, Iraq is taking back a lot of the provinces. They're celebrating in Anbar. They're, they're, they got Ramadi uh, cornered, and ISIS is fleeing and throwing up black flags and running out of there, okay? It looked like they're going into Syria now. So uh, Iraq is kicking butt, regardless of what the U.S. is, is you know, making comments about, uh, that they're not fighting for their, you know, for their country, but they are because, you know, we're in there as well, okay? But, uh, and also, I think Turkey's helping out as well. So everybody's in there to kick butt, okay? So... Let's move on. 
parliamentary finance, government lingered uh, implementation of the government is unconstitutional. Okay, we know that. We know that the government has to go into a global market economy because that's part of their constitution. So anything else than the global market economy is unconstitutional. So that's common sense, okay? Meeting of the Iraqi parliament clashes and insults inside the uh, Iraqi parliament meetings, okay? This is why the laws are not getting done. It's because Maliki and Maliki men and, and people he's funding are in here clashing with people that are trying to pass these laws okay so we need these people to be called out and we need these people to 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 you know for a body to call these people out and put them in their place so we can get these laws passed okay we don't we still haven't heard anything about the major laws yet okay so baghdad determines next week which will send the share of the back of the budget of kurdistan okay so next week they're going to send a batch of money to kurdistan and they're going to be determining the amount of what they sent. Why can't you just send the 17%? Why do you have to determine the amount, okay? You you put a contract to send them 17% of the budget each month and you're not doing it, okay? Jafari confirms that the investment doors of Iraq uh, are open to friendly countries. Now, I don't know what a friendly country is, but I guess it's the countries around them. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know what that means. And does, that doesn't mean that the investment laws passed because we haven't heard anything about the investment law being voted on, okay? And I don't think we will until an until action on RV happens. So, you know, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Barza Council voted to stop work on new sales tax. Okay, so Barza saying that they're going to stop the sales tax on the ports because they need a rate, okay, it's destroying them, they need a rate, okay, so that's good news, they're, they're like, hey, we need a rate change here before we can put these sales tax on, because it's killing our businesses, okay, all right, three more to go, let's see, parliamentary virtue, the reason to extend the legislative term of, for the purpose of approving the strategic laws, all right, so they won't, They might extend the terms here because they're having problems getting these laws done. All right, Congress, uh, Barca, demanding the development of the oil wealth uh, without affecting the health of the citizens. So they want to be able to develop oil, dig for oil, do everything for oil, but not harm the citizens as they, you know, as they do this project. So that's good news for them. And then uh, the representatives will meet tomorrow with the heads of the blocks to take the final decision of the three laws. Investment law, uh, the law of parties, and the uh, Supreme Court law. All right? So Jabari's going to get that done, hopefully. Currency 365, I'm out.